Lady from North Carolina is recognized. I yield two minutes to my good friend, the gentleman from Florida, Representative Jared, Jared Moskowitz. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the gentlelady from North Carolina, and thank you to my co-sponsor, Representative Lawler from New York. Israel has a right to exist. There are only two ways to vote on this. Either you vote yes or you vote no. No means you do not believe Israel should be a country. No means you believe a country should be wiped off the face of the earth. A present vote means you do not believe Israel should be a country. Hanging out in the cloakroom, having a hot dog, missing the vote means Israel shouldn't be a country. So this is a moment for people in this body on a bipartisan basis to stand together and say, you believe Israel has a right to exist. Hamas doesn't think Israel has a right to exist. Hezbollah doesn't think Israel has a right to exist. Iran doesn't think Israel has a right to exist. And so for people who vote no, who are vote present, you side with them. You pick a side with Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran. I don't want to hear excuses. Oh, I didn't like this whereas clause. Oh, there was a period or a comma out of place, as if somehow we always vote on perfect resolutions around here. Again, it's an opportunity to show the world that you believe Israel has a right to exist. As we see anti-Semitism in the streets, at rallies, ceasefire rallies, which is a foreign policy position, we see people holding signs that say, gas the Jews, kill the Jews, cleanse the Jews. That's not a foreign policy, and if it is, it's a foreign policy of Germany in the early 40s. This is a moment for people in this body, some who sit in the rows behind me, to show they believe Israel has a right to exist. I'm for a two-state solution, Mr. Speaker. I think it's important that the Palestinian people get a state. But rest assured, in that two-state solution, one of those states is going to be Israel. Time. And so, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you to the gentlelady from North Carolina. And I'll, I'll conclude with this. Anyone who believes that Israel doesn't have a right to exist is calling for genocide. We hear that word thrown around a lot now on social media, genocide, genocide. We have a war in the Middle East. We don't have genocide. But if you believe a country should not exist, the millions of people in that country should also not exist which means you are calling for a genocide. I urge everyone to vote yes on this resolution. Israel has a right to exist. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.